Like, Jesus, why can't us as colored people come together and help one another rather than stealing and tearing each other down? And I know y'all may be wondering, Shrell, what the hell is you talking about? Well, let me tell you, because I was laying in my bed and I was talking to somebody. I was scrolling on Facebook, reading and reading and reading. And I had to get up on my bed for this one. Bonnet and all, robe and all, because it's cold in the bitch in here. But let me tell y'all what's going on. Y'all ever seen that movie Saw? Yeah, I watched it. It used to scare me a lot. This motherfucker right here, Saw 7. This is probably the biggest scammer next to Ashley Grayson that I know. Okay, I don't know her, but I've read about her and I've been reading about her. And she done got the kid up out of bed because now it's time to talk. This lady right here owns KRB Tax Services. And if you don't know, go on Facebook and Google. There's so many reviews. There's so many videos. There's so many people complaining about how this woman done bought Rolls Royces, done bought houses, went all out to Dubai or wherever they ride the motherfucking camels at. Then had weddings, got her brother, her husband, and everybody else who running up behind her wrapped up in a big ass tax Ponzi scheme. Now to start this off, you know, everybody got a mechanism on drawing people in or getting people to spend money, sign up, or do business with you in general. So she decides that she's going to spend $25,000 to go to the Boss Up Conference. Now at this conference, Rick Ross was there. Now you know. If you can get any celebrity, and for some strange reason, people feel like celebrities just equal honesty, transparency, unfraudulent people, you know. But my original question is, Rick Ross, did you know that she was out here taking money from individuals and footing this fabulous ass lifestyle that she's using to lure in more victims? Now, before I get on you, Rick Ross, answer correctly. Now, reading back through every piece of evidence, all the videos, the text messages from this lady and her clients, this motherfucker here, one, has no mechanism of customer service. Two, she has no heart for the people who slave and bust their tail for her. And three, if you come to her with an issue, she gonna push you off because why? The clients that are dealing with the tax preparer is not her as the Ethan holder's problem because she's not handling them. How they go? Now, before I get too deep into whatever is going on here, let me introduce the people that is helping her run this Ponzi scheme. Now, for starters, we got Brittany Raquel Burton, aka Saw Seven, and then we got Quadarius Pringle, who's the husband, and last but not least, we got Chucky A. Smith, which is her best friend. Now, for starters, the first thing you need when running a tax business is an EFIN number. She's a convicted felon who just got off of federal probation. How did she get the EFIN number, you ask? See y'all in part two.